Good morning, uh, Team Mind Power and JDA. So today I am uh, present in front of you with another training session. So this time the training session is on automation, automation of uh, audit, ITR, and balance sheet. So let me start with you the today's training session. So are you ready? Good. So here I go for a screen share. Yes. So all set. So I'm going to talk about this one. Let me first adjust a sheet a little bit. Here I go. So I'm going to talk about automation of balance sheet, income tax return and statutory return. So can you view my sheet? Oh, that's good. The objective of this training session, scope, flow chart, and desktop procedure is defined uh, as under. Let's talk about the objective. The objective of automation of balance sheet ITR audit is to ensure that all work is completed on time to avoid manual work as much as possible. Secondly, ensuring that all the work is done using technology, avoiding manual intervention, Avoiding simple error like balance sheet is not telling, clerical error of writing like 1000 instead of 100. The scope of automation covers balance sheet for individual, partnership and company, income tax return number 4, 4S, 5, 6 and 7, company order report, director report, notes to account, caro form 3CD, 3CA, 3CB and notice. This is what we are going to cover in our scope. I have prepared a flow chart. The flowchart work like this. First of all, data need to be finalized in what? Tally. All data, everything should be completed in all respect. As per what? As per CRS. CRS client reporting sheet that contains that which are various checklist points that need to be taken care to absolutely make the tally data final. Once tally data is final, you need to see this data is to be given for filing of income tax uh, return. So provide final tally data along with audit control sheet to ITR preparer. Import trial balance from tally to Genius. Prepare balance sheet in Genius. Now see whether tax audit is required. If it is not required, then directly go to the next step. If tax audit is required, then you need to follow. Prepare notes to account. Form 3CA, 3CB, Form 3CD. Prepare auditor, director, Caro report as the case may be applicable and then you need to prepare ITR. Check the ITR on the basis of checkpoint, file income tax return, take the printout and deliver to the client. So this is the complete procedure I have defined in terms of the flow chart. The same I have given as a desktop procedure. In the desktop procedure, you can read all the procedure is same, but I have included checklist point. For example, how tally data need to be prepared, I have given a checklist. How audit control sheet looks like, I have prepared a checklist. Final data along with the format filled by the accountant and audit control sheet to be provided to the income tax return preparer. The step number one, two, three, four, five are the same as mentioned in the flow chart. The good point here is that we have prepared the checklist. Let me give you an example. For example, audit control sheet. When you will double click here, that audit control sheet will get open. As per that, this audit is required to be done. For the sake of simplicity, I have uh, given the screenshot of the procedure that need to be followed in the software. Step number one, open the genius. You will see balance sheet. When you will click on the balance sheet, a dialog box will uh, open like this. Now you need to click here to import the trial balance in Genius. Then you need to select the name of the client. Here in this case, Rishi Sins Automation is the name of the client. Then you need to select the financial year. Then you need to see that Select tally 5.4, 6.3, 7.2, 8.1, or 9.0. We are using tally 9.0, so you will select here and then select the XML format. The trial balance to be exported from tally need to be in which format? Yes, XML. Go to the tally, open the trial balance. Make sure once you open the trial balance, you press F5. By pressing the F5, it will show what? It will open all the ledger account. Generally, Tally opens group wise uh, trial balance. But when you will press F5, it will show what? It will show 
ledger wise balances which is required to be exported in xml format which format xml three things to remember one f5 number two xml format third thing i will tell you later yes i will talk about third thing here i go so when you are exporting the data here is the xml format and you are exporting the trial balance and save in a particular folder from where you can refer later on apart from trial balance you also need to export what list of account open the list of account in tally and export that similarly in the xml format and save in the same same folder where you have saved the trial balance go to the genius once again click here on the list of account to import the list of account and click here to import the trial balance and then press on the proceed button after trial balance has been imported there is chances that certain items remain ungrouped you select that item and put that into the correct group very simple and then third thing which i have mentioned you is the closing stock yes trial balance do not contain closing stock was you aware about that no okay trial balance never ever never ever contain closing stock so you need to manually feed the figure of the closing stock that was the third thing to remember so first one f5 second one xml format third one is the value of the closing stock will you remember that okay good now let's go to the next step next step is step number six now prepare the balance sheet after importing the trial balance below are the screenshot of the procedure to prepare the trial balance in the genius so you need to click balance sheet and from 3 cd click balance sheet to prepare balance sheet in genius after selecting the balance sheet select the client whose balance sheet need to be prepared rishi sales automation select the period financial year for which the balance sheet you need to prepare in this case financial year 2014 15 and then select the number of year you want to show in balance sheet one year for individual two year for company why two year you know in case of a private limited company two years data is being presented in the financial uh, statement the next step is after cl clicking the number of year data that need to be shown in balance sheet then the below screen will appear in this uh, figure so here select the format of balance sheet old format for individual and partnership firm new format for companies click here to prepare the balance sheet here click here to prepare the profit and loss account write the balance sheet date you must be surprising where to mention the date of the balance sheet because the date of balance sheet is not 31st march it is the date on which you are signing that is 31st august you need to make the entry of date of balance sheet here now let us go to the next step click to the notes in which contain any figure for example here is the figure of rupees 10 lakh note number 2.1 you need to tick here click on the column and import or write the detail now import from trial balance click here and import the trial balance import earlier from tally the same procedure after clicking the detail column then the below screen will appear screen like this you need to press on import after that either import the detail ledger wise group wise or debit credit wise it is your choice after completing the balance sheet and profit and loss account press f4 what f4 yes then you can see additional detail will appear in the screen you must press f4 these additional column will appear select the column or group whose detail you want in balance sheet profit and loss account or sub schedule balance sheet print detail sub schedule select print list then click to the print the balance sheet and similar to the profit and loss account here detail list import uh, will get open for sub schedule click here on this print list uh, before taking the print out yes i have covered lots you must be feeling the thirsty so have a, a glass of water so should we proceed further i think i was going a little bit uh, faster so let me take a little rest <laughs> rest is over so here you go important note to be mentioned here before taking the print out of uh, the itr preparer itr preparer needs to manually change the head of the balance sheet and profit and loss account from 31st march 2015 and 30th march 2014 to figure as at the end of the current reporting period and figure as at the end of the reporting period why because in case of a companies act 
on the profit loss account heading you need to mention the at the end of current reporting period instead of the date but no problem in case of individual non company client you just need to click on the old format of balance sheet and take the print and ensure that trading and profit and loss amount is shown together is selected trading account and profit and loss account they are together you need to press that otherwise it will be appearing on two two different uh, pages now step number 7 is prepare the notes to account form 3ca 3cb and 3cd auditor report director report notice and caro report following is the procedure click here to modify any below existing format as per your requirement here in the master template then click here to fill the form 3ca 3cd click here to fill the form 3cb and 3cd here you need to click to fill the notice and the company auditor report need to be clicked here to prepare that click here to fill the director report okay click here to fill the caro report so all the reports are now being prepared using the software we come to the step number 8 now transfer the final accounts that were already imported from the tally to the genius software to general balance sheet for income tax purposes now we are used to preparing of the income tax return below is the procedure for the above step click on income tax and thereafter click on the general balance sheet which balance sheet general balance sheet yes then the blue screen will appear balance sheet click here to import the balance sheet then column will appear and click here where import from final account yes thereafter you can see that almost all grouping has been done then but the income tax preparer need to ensure that the grouping done by the genius is correct and no further modification is required however in case grouping is not done then manually grouping need to be done so here are the group name ledger name and amount so you can manually group the detail which are not being grouped so that all the heads appears under the respective head given by the income tax forms i come to the step number 9 checking of income tax return balance sheet and other retail like form 3 cd 3 cnc b report checking need to be done on the basis of below mentioned check point based upon our experience of more than 17 years we have prepared a checklist that this idea is correctly and completely prepared let me show you a demonstration of that when i click here you can see uh, here is a client name address let me make the screen a little bit bigger so that you can read it you can see Uh, there are many checklist point like uh, name of the client is correct as per mc and dvat address of the client is correct and point number 3 4 5 6 7 and so on up to the point number 32 and then in the income tax checklist there are point number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and up to the point number 15 these all point need to be ticked checked so that it is being made in sure that the balance sheet has been prepared correctly so do you like this oh thank you so now let's go to the final step that is point number 10 after everything has been done you need to keep a soft copy record of the income tax return purposes that include computation itrv itr form form 3cd 3cd and 3cd in xml format as well as in word format the balance sheet sub schedule auditor report director report notice caro report apart from the above following should also be saved like all format 15 audit control sheet and checkpoint idea checker that i have discussed with you prior to that so when it is done your balance sheet is not only prepared filed and saved for the ready reference in the upcoming year so that your followers in the coming years can refer back to this data finally you need to go to the step number 11 most important step deliver the deliverable to client for whom we are doing all the working So this was all about the automation of balance sheet, ITR, and audit. I hope uh, you like uh, this recording, this presentation, and this will be of uh, immense uh, value to you. And uh, please start using this, and thereby you will be able to do automation of income tax return, balance sheet, and audit. Thank you very much for your patience listening, and I will be coming again uh, on some more informational video. Thank you very much, my dear friend.